What's going on champs and champettes? I want you to look very closely at the skin I'm using and very closely at the whole entire design and aesthetic going on here because you may notice there's a little bit of a crescent going on on my back and on the chest of the character. If we go ahead and do an emote, for example, you can see that crescent right there and it's all related to the waning moon. Now, of course, as we're going over here, you may notice that we even have, you know, some circles and stuff that kind of relate to waning moons as well. You can see kind of like the glow right there and everything else. And that is very important because it all relates to stuff going on for the brand new season of Fortnite, Chapter 4, Season 4, and in today's YouTube video, I'll be telling you everything you we currently know regarding leaks, regarding news, and everything else, leading up to the brand new season, and how it might actually be a very Halloween or spooky theme season going forwards. So firstly, this all started the other day when someone over on Twitter known as Sharshock, who is a content creator, managed to get a package in the mail by Epic Games. You're gonna go ahead and see an image on the screen of this package right now, and it is a poster, or you know, a painting of a blood moon with the letter, thanks for adding to my collection by Koji Datura. Now we don't know what Koji Datura is, but it is a very interesting letter to be received in the mail. Now, of course the little note isn't in English because Sharshock is not an English creator, but it is a very interesting thing to kind of point out, and it all does seem to be related to the brand new Fortnite season, because at least with the hashtag and everything else they actually put out there, it was all kind of, you know, related to hyping up the new season and I assume that you know Starshock wouldn't just get a random package in the mail that is you know like some art being like thanks for adding to my collection without really having any other standing of what's going on with it right because you know if it wasn't for Fortnite and you just got a random package like that you'd probably be like okay is someone stalking me what's going on here but then again Epic Games does give people tons of packages all the time and do these little ARGs from time to time so I wouldn't be surprised if you know this is related or you know whatever else but an interesting thing that people over on Twitter have been spotting out and you know, kind of mentioning because of everything going on here is that this could relate to Ronin because as you guys know, as we just kind of mentioned at the start of this video, Ronin is a part of the Order of the Waning Moon and as we can tell by the whole entire, you know, aesthetic and everything going on here, Ronin has this whole entire, you know, red moon aesthetic going on, you know, the red moon, you know, waning moon, whatever else and based on the Fortnite storyline, as we talked about in yesterday's video, there is something going on relating to the moon in game, you know, relating to how the eclipse is the key to Fortnite and everything else as Sloane has mentioned so it really makes me think that you know even if it isn't related to Ronin in particular and it's just you know hype up for the new season it all seems to be related to the moon aesthetic and it seems to be that you know whatever's going to be happening very soon is all going to revolve around eclipses moon phases you know all that type of stuff and I think it is a very interesting way for us to start speculating over what the next season is going to relate to now in terms of actual leaks and stuff we have for the new season while we don't have any like exact lore things we do know a few things first Firstly, there have been little updates here and there and mentions in the files about a vampire boss NPC that you'd be able to fight in the game. Now, that could be something specifically for, you know, Fort Nightmares, since that should be taking place during the next season, or it could be something that is, you know, all season long. Like, you know, this vampire boss character is, you know, a very important character in the storyline who we end up learning more and more about as we progress through everything and do challenges or whatever else. And it would kind of make sense because, for example, in the current Fortnite season that we're in, we have the jungle boss which is actually a battle pass skin I forgot the name of it of course but you know it is one of the skins in the game right now and in the files and everything they just mentioned it as jungle boss and then they had a completely different ID for the actual skin itself in the battle pass so it would match their whole entire naming scheme where it's like it could still potentially be a battle pass cosmetic as well whatever this upcoming vampire boss is and we do know that they've been working on like a remixed version of the dust skin so that is something to keep in mind is that there's these little changes here and there for a lot of Halloween themed things and it seems Seems like this upcoming season might actually last a decent amount of time where it's going to go through Fort Nightmares and it's going to all relate to a moon which gives it a very very spooky theme. Now another thing I could mention is Horde Rush. Now we obviously know that Horde Rush is going to return but it has some interesting changes that we haven't seen in normal Fortnite as of yet. Firstly the time periods for augments have been changed which is going to be enabled in the Horde Rush mode. Now how the augments work in that mode is that you get one every single wave. So once you finish one wave and you're going over to the next wave once you have that little area time period where you're just looting up and everything you'll be able to select another augment but you only get one new augment unlocked each time and they have a maximum of five augments allowed at a single time instead of the standard four that we have in game right now so if we go to my inventory and augments you have a total of four augments you get before you're able to just get like cut off or whatever but epic games does have support for up to five augments and it does appear like they're going to take advantage of that for horde rush by allowing you to you know mix and match augments to give you a little bit more of a power 
power boost while that mode's going on, and I wouldn't be surprised if Epic Games decided to make Horde Rush specific augments, and I mean, imagine how cool that would be, right? You have the normal Horde Rush mode, we still don't know if it will be zero build or building enable this time around, but I assume it might be like a mixture of both where you can select what you want, and then you're able to just kind of mess around with that stuff, and then you get an augment that's like, oh, when you eliminate a zombie or, you know, one of the cube fiends or whatever else, you actually manage to get a higher chance of getting item drops or something like that, or your ammo replenishes with kills or something, right? They have a lot of options they can actually do, but that is something that we know they're working on, and we know that they're also working on a live event, which I'll talk more about in tomorrow's video, so we have a lot of this stuff going on here where it's like, yeah, you know, it seems like everything's kind of starting to build up for the new season, starting, you know, very soon on the 25th, and it seems that it could be a very Halloween, or I guess just spooky theme season overall, and maybe even relates to Onin and this Order of the Waning Moon that we never really got much lore about. Now, something I do want to mention to you guys is that we're starting to get a buildup of teasers, and we're going to get more and more teasers starting around the 20th to 21st of this month. The reason why is because we have some API requests that we're able to see from Twitter, and they plan to have a special little, like, icon for the new season, similar to how they do it for every single season of this chapter, and basically every single chapter so far, where it's like, you know, a little way to hype up the new season, and, you know, be like, hey, look, whenever you use the hashtag, which is like hashtag Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4, you'll see a custom emoji. That is currently set to go live on August 20th, and typically when that happens, that is when they're starting to actually, you know, tease everything. That's when they're starting to go about being like, hey, look at this teaser of a new skin or something, right? So definitely, you know, in like a week or two, that is when you can start expecting to get more and more information regarding the brand new season, but it's all coming up very fast, and it's very, very exciting. Now, something I want to mention is that the season titling and everything else could get very finicky very soon, because people have been mentioning, and there's been some rumors going around regarding the LEGO collaboration, which is supposed to be V27.00, Zero, which, you know, the next season is V26.00, and they're mentioning that because of how big the LEGO collaboration is, and, you know, it might be, we might still be in Chapter 4 Season 4 once V27, you know, releases, and the whole entire reason for that is because the LEGO collaboration is supposed to be such a big thing that it deserves its own, you know, version number entirely, so who knows how long this upcoming season could be. It could be a short season, it could be a very long season, it really just kind of depends on what happens, but, you know, based on all the leaks and rumors going Going on right now, it does appear that at the very least it will be going through October and probably into November for everything, right? It appears that it's going to be going through Fort Nightmare, so just keep that in mind as you prepare for the new season and as we start getting leaks and more rumors and stuff popping up around that time. However, with that said, that's pretty much all I gotta share for today's video. Stay tuned and subscribe because in tomorrow's video, I'll be talking about if there's a live event this season and what they're actually doing with live events right now. And I'll catch you guys next time with another upload. Peace out.